I must apologise. I've just arrived back in the house. I've literally just seen the goal that's taken it 1-0 to Zagreb. And it was an absolute wonder, absolute wonder goal from Orsic. What a goal. Um, similar angle from Masuaku's angle where he scored the goal against um, Chelsea. But he smashed that ball from outside the box. No one to blame. No one could stop it. And he smashed that ball into the top corner. Fantastic goal from him to make it 1-0 to Zagreb. I apologise again for starting late. That's just what happens um, sometimes when things take over. So um, I will bring you the game as we are going along. But like I said, I do apologise for starting late. Make sure if people don't know that we're on live, go to find them and bring them in and get them into the chat. And we will go through it um, as much as we can. But the score is 1-0 to Zagreb. Um, away from home, six minutes gone in the game. And Zagreb are on the attack. They've played the ball to the back. Sonny Perkins is chasing the man down. Of course, a lot of the youngsters have started as well. Um, Zagreb have got the ball down the left-hand side, are attacking. Uh, still got the ball, still driving through. Kroll tries to close the man down. Zagreb have got the ball. Good tracking back there from Vlasic. Baptiste does well to clear the ball. Vlasic on the attack, holds onto the ball in the centre circle, plays the ball through neatly to Pablo Fornals, out wide to Yarmolenko on the right-hand side. Fornals is making the run. Ashby's making the overlapping run with him. Yarmolenko's still on the ball. Fornals leaves it. Ashby crosses the ball into the box, and it's cleared from Zagreb. There you go. The big man is back with a commentary. Hope you're all well. Um... And again, I must apologise for starting late. That's just what happens sometimes, like I said. Uh... Let me just get this um, screen up for you. Mark Noble's on the ball in the halfway line. Uh, Dinamo Zagreb are back on the ball. Hi, Joan, Glenn Marshall. Uh, the time I'm on is literally coming to the eighth minute now. Eighth minute right now let me see if i can get this up for use you all seem to enjoy it the last time i had it on there you go so yarmolenko's got the ball Alessi, who I really rate highly, really rate Alessi as a footballer. What a great footballer he is. This time on the attack down the left-hand side. Vlasic plays in Fornals. We're deep in the Zagreb half. Fornals still got the ball going centrally. He's working his way back, though. Zagreb have got literally every man behind the ball. Uh, Fornals has still got a hold of it, driving through the middle. Nice, nice ball through to Perkins. Vlasic finds its way to crawl. He's going to... Oh, he's given a foul for Zagreb. Get your comments in and let me know your thoughts on the game so far. Literally, let's see where we're at. Yeah, this will do. Perfect. Perfect. And we're set up. Properly set up once and for all. Do you like all the graphics on the screen as well? Please let us know. Epic hash time, the time I've got is 10.02, 10.03, 10.04, 10.05. Now, there'll be a slight delay from the moment I say that that comes through to the screen. 
Um, Baptiste has done really well there to shoulder the Zagreb forward off the ball. He collects the ball from Kroll, pings the ball forward. Sonny Perkins drops deep to collect it, does really well. Plays the ball th back through to Baptiste. Here comes Alessi, who plays the ball out to Longello. He's driving forward. He's driving forward, still driving forward. Longello plays a neat ball through to Sonny Perkins. Sonny Perkins through to Alex Kroll, who switches play over to Yamalenko. Ashby's made the cross road, road network run. Yamalenko still on the ball from distance. Switches play completely, finds Longello over on the left-hand side, chests the ball down. Langello plays a ball to Vlasic, who takes it onto his right foot, who finds Noble, who switches play again, all the way over to Ashby. Oh, nice touch from Ashby there. Plays in Yarmolenko down the right-hand side. Yarmolenko on his own. Oh, he tried. I don't know what he's doing. It's like a kind of Masawaku shot or something like that. Uh only need 500 subs to 10k. Let's get it by the new... No, we don't, mate. We need, like, 50. That's all we need. 40 or... I think it's only 40 we need or something. Cheers, Glenn. We're loving the graphics. Good man. Uh, is anyone watching? I'm asleep. No, we're not. I, actually, do you know what? We've actually worked out how we can put a timer on. So we're going to get a timer on the screen for you soon as well. So don't worry about that. That will be good. So I don't have to keep telling you what timer I'm on. Oh, good tag from Alessi. However, he has given a foul against the Zagreb. Um, player. Let me know your thoughts on all the young players as well. Ah, cheers, Mikey. Let me know the score in your game tonight as well. Let me have a look and see if I can get the... Let me see if I can get that score. No, no. Half time for you lot. The Genk. Let's put that up along the bottom. So for anyone that's watching, nothing's happening in the game. I'll just remind everyone of our starting lineup tonight. <laughs> our starting lineup for you guys. Uh, Dinamo Zagreb just had a chance, but it went to Rose Ed as well. Ariola with the goal kick. Let's see what everyone is saying. What? Um, no, no, for now. Genk are on the same time. Like you saying, as I said, the second time I was on, West Ham wins the Europa League, Genk wins the Conference League. Getting game is still no-no against Rapid Vienna. Zagreb keeper's got the ball, goes long. Well done from Alessi. Drives forward, wins the header. Commanding. Heads on to Vlasic. Mark Noble plays in. Vlasic is through on the left-hand side. Takes a nice touch. Does a few kind of skip over on the ball. Crosses the ball in really high over the top. Tries to find Yarmolenko. Zagreb do well to clear. Everyone's calling for a handball. Don't think it is. Zagreb clear forward. It's the Zagreb against Baptiste, the forward Orsic against Baptiste. He skips by Baptiste. Baptiste recovers though, crawls back in. He switches play over to the right hand side for uh, Dinamo. Cross in and Longello hits the ball out for a Zagreb corner.
corner. Corner comes in, doesn't beat the first man, but they do get a man to the ball who tries to shoot from a tight angle, but it goes all the way over the bar for a West Ham goal kick. He is complaining that he is injured as well. So, yes, what are we on? People are asking us what are we on in terms of uh, subscribers. So let me tell you, whilst we're on, uh, what we're at. Let me see if I can find out. Uh, Ariola plays the ball short to Alessi. Alessi uh, switches the play over to Baptiste. Big, big, important game for those guys today, isn't it? As well. Alessi to Longello. So we're only 53 subscribers away. Zagreb tried to drive the ball forward, but referees called it back. Alessi's played it very quickly. I really like Alessi, lads. I'm just telling you, whoever's watching... I'm really impressed with Alessi. I think he's ready to step up. I really do. I'm not saying that Baptiste isn't, but Baptiste is two to three years younger than Alessi as well. Anyway, 53 subscribers to 10K. So get subscribing to the channel. It will help us out as well. Alessi with the ball. Mark Noble plays it back to Baptiste, who's on the right-hand side of the central defence. Him and Alessi looking really comfortable. Alessi now gets the ball, who's the left-footed centre-half, who's driving forwards. Goes long, goes over the top. Oh, nearly a great ball, but the Zagreb player doesn't do enough. Vlasic does really well to barge him off the ball, and it goes out for a West Ham throw-in. Honestly, the vision that Alessi's got, the vision he's got for a long pass is phenomenal. He is phenomenal. Really like him. Fornals collects the ball from a throw-in, and it goes out again for another throw-in. Oh, Perkins. Oh, it does really well. Crosses it in low. Oh, that grab doesn't clear it well, but he does get the ball out. Ashby down the right-hand side. Plays a 1-2 with Yarmolenko. Gets the ball. He's so fast. Crosses the ball. What a cross? Oh, Perkins over the top. Oh, unlucky. What great play down the right-hand side between uh, Ashby and Yarmolenko. Uh, the speed that Ashby's got is great. He plays a neat one-two with Yarmolenko. Good vision from Yarmolenko. The Zagreb defender had not a single chance at all to get anywhere near him. He skips by the player. He looks like he's going to go down. He keeps his feet. What a lovely ball. Pin-perfect ball to the back, to be fair. I think Perkins could have done better, but it's his first game. He's young. He's enthusiastic. He thinks that probably the defender's going to get the ball, but it does go over the top. And he, um... Yes, Martin, 9,947. I don't know, for anyone that's watching, who has been here from the start? That's the key question I want to ask. Who has been here from the start on our journey, which was Irons United and My Hammers 11 that combined together to make it the West Ham Network? It's a grab. Still got the ball. Vlasic. Vlas fair play to Vlasic. He's looking quite good. He's looking good so far. It's a free kick to West Ham in our own half. Genk is still nil-nil. Ariola pings the ball forward, tries to find Perkins. The Zagreb defender comes up, wins it, and they've got a hold of possession. Zagreb kicked the ball long from the keeper. Alessi gets in front of their player, does well, wins the header again. But we're not there to the second ball. Zagreb switches play completely. They've kept it in, and it's now with the right back. Perkins is driving him down. He's just come over the halfway line, pings the ball forward. Alessi calmly takes the ball, passes it to Longello, who skips by that player. Not a ounce of problem at all. What a nice ball through to Fornals. Yamalenko's made a run. Oh, it's too late. Oh, no one's shouting him, man. Oh, come on, Fornals. 
Longello does a lot of hard work there, skipping by the players on the wing, no problem at all. Unless he steps out, gets a touch on the ball, but Zagreb misplaced the time, the pass, and Ashby clears. Zagreb try to play a ball forward. Only joined recently, loving the network. Thank you very much, my man. I was when Alf was here. Yes, you were. I've been here since the first lockdown. Really cool to hear that. Thank you. Uh, another great right back. We were short on the right of the years. Absolutely. I'm impressed with Langello. I am as well, mate. Absolutely. Ashby looks uh, great down the attacking part. Absolutely. Nice cross from Ashby. It really was. Uh, epic hash time. He looks... I don't think we've seen enough of him yet, really. It's going to take a couple of games for him to get into his stride, isn't it? Ariola plays the ball through to Baptiste. Ashby. Back to Baptiste. Back to Ariola. Plays it into Alessi. In the edge of the box. Driving forward. Plays the ball through neatly to Mark Noble. Who's dropped deep to click the ball. Who plays it. Switches it over to Baptiste. Who switches again over to Ashby. Ashby looks for the take on. Tries to knock the ball by the player. But it goes out for a throw in to Zagreb. I was impressed with Longello. Be great if Longello. Do you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway during the show. I just need to get a chance to actually nip away from the screen and do it. Kroll does well to collect the ball. Vlasic, I've been impressed with him so far. Does well. Plays the ball through to Longello. Uh, Mark Noble in the halfway line. Nice ball through to Perkins. Plays the ball to Kroll. Back to Baptiste. Plays the ball forward to Ashby. Back again to Baptiste, Noble on the halfway line. Over to the left-hand side to Pablo Fornals. Just on the edge of the centre circle. Plays it back to Mark Noble on the halfway line. Over to Alessi. Plays into Vlasic, moving forwards. Vlasic, nice football from West Ham. Fornals, Langello's out on the left-hand side. Brings the ball inside. Nice ball through to Vlasic. Vlasic's got the ball. Tries to chip the ball forward. Looks like a handball. Referee doesn't give it, but he says play on, so he is going to go back if we don't get good possession. What a great boss. Take it away. Will he bring it back? No, he won't. Yarmolenko does well, but then he's dispossessed. So I grab now on the counter-attack. There is three on three. And fair play to Ashby. He's got some pace on him, doesn't he, to get back. Baptiste has gone with the man down the left. And uh, Zagreb have switched play completely over to the right-hand side. Langello goes out to his man. Plays it back. Still Zagreb out on the right-hand side. Wojat. Zagreb on the ball now, down the right-hand side. West Ham are trying to track the players down. And we've put enough pressure on them. They've kicked the ball out and it's gone for a West Ham throw in. Uh, I need to get rid of that. Ball goes forward to Perkins. It'd be great if uh, Langello can get into the first team to take over from Creswell in the future. Martin saying the network showed up in his YouTube feed in August and I've enjoyed every minute of it since then. Crawl in the middle of the park, edge of the centre circle. Plays in Baptiste. A bit heavy on the pass, but Baptiste has got it. Plays the ball to Alessi, who's just over the halfway line. Over to Mark Noble, who's dropped deep. Finds uh, Fornals out on the left-hand side. Langello's gone really far forward. Noble's made the run. Fornals plays in Noble, who's moved forward on the left-hand side. Langello's with him. So is Vlasic. Vlasic gets hold of the ball on the edge of the box. Unless he's really far forward, so is Baptiste. They just look really commanding and really in control. I don't want to sound like I'm biased because I love these two lads. I don't want to sound like that, but it's tough not to because I actually I'm impressed with the way the vision of this defence, the vision of these four players. Could you imagine the future of West Ham as these four players? Like, it would be phenomenal, wouldn't it? Oh, 
Oh, Ashby and Alessi have made a mistake. <laughs> say that. Ashby and Alessi have bumped into each other and the ball fell through and it was going to be one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but um, Ariola came out and done well to grab the ball. A cross has gone in and Ariola has collected the ball. I don't know if it was at Baptiste and um, Ashby. Let's see. I think it was Baptiste. Baptiste loses the first herder. Alessi and Ashby, they don't communicate. Ariola comes out and uh, kicks out for a, a throw-in. But anyway, that was before. Noble's got the ball. Feeds in Yarmolenko on the halfway line. That's really bright, isn't it? Longello down the left-hand side. Plays into Vlasic. Nice ball through to Fornals. He's on the edge of the box. Oh, tries a neat pass through to Sonny Perkins. Had made a good run, but it just snipped in front of him and went straight for the Zagreb keeper. Unlucky. Keeper for Zagreb has thrown the ball and it's just gone straight out for West Ham. Throw in. Anyway, uh, the time I'm on is 26 minutes and 45 seconds. Johnny Hammer is saying, honestly, how can Yarmo look like he's stuck on already? <laughs> Ion, Art, I'd be happy just the two of the back four can make the first team in the future. Andy Pepper, good to see you, mate. Thank you for joining us. Just got in. Thank you. Come on, Hammers. Belcar is saying, just remember Spurs lost to you now with two defenders costing 46 man between both of them. Absolutely. The sooner we offload Jarmo, the better. We could use his wages elsewhere. You know, uh, Ariola's got the ball. Plays it out to Longello. <laughs> Vlasic back to Mark Noble. Oh, no, Mikey. Sorry to hear that, mate. Vienna are beating Genk 1 0. Mark Noble. Oh, he's dispossessed. Zagreb are on the counter. It's two on two, but West Ham are getting bodies back. Zagreb. West Ham are just getting their balance in there. Yeah, we've got back together. That's good. So grab on the attack down the left hand side. So grab just holding on to the ball, trying to get in a little bit of possession. Oh, that player number seven for Zagreb just skipped past that it's crawl. It was nice, nice play there. Mangelo does well, goes out for a corner. Uh, someone was asking, Belcar, um, your countdown is a Genk and West Ham fan. So he's a he's he's, he's first and foremost team is Genk. So that that's why it's bad. Corner to Zagreb. Hammers Mikey, can we start go for me page to buy really? <laughs> like hey, if that pony ammo. Cross in. Alessi does well to win it. Langello heads out. Vlasic collects the ball. It gives a West Ham throw in. Oh, Vlas has done really well. Ball's being pinged forward. He's collected the ball. He's driving forward. Two players are on him. Skips by. It's taken out. It's going to be a West Ham free kick and a yellow card handed out to the Zagreb player. Vlasic has done really well. I've been impressed with Vlasic so far, actually. Yeah. Complete and utter foul. <laughs> they were saying it contested it was going to be too harsh for a yellow card. It was not harsh at all. Vistoski gets a yellow card. Back 
Baptiste driving forward on the halfway line. Plays in Yarmolenko on the right-hand side. Ashby is so far forward. It's like Yarmolenko and Ashby have swapped positions. Yarmolenko switches play. Mark Noble on the left. Plays in Longello on the left, who's far forward also. He keeps going forward. Keeps going forward. Pablo for now. There's Vlasic there. He's helping him. Plays the ball into Yamalenko and Perkins, but the defender comes out, does well, unless he gets forward, collects it really neatly. Harrison Ashby plays the ball forward, tries to find Perkins, but the defender gets in front of him. Baptiste does enough to shimmy the player away. Ashby comes back and collects the ball and plays the ball back to Ariola. Do you want me to do scores around the doors? Is this what you want? Because if you do, I would have to set that up. Won't take long, to be fair. Baptiste plays the ball forward to no one. Oh, is that good? Plays a big ball forward. Ashby's... Oh! <laughs> he's trying to shimmy the ball out. It looks like he's going to try and smash the ball, but smashes the corner flag instead and kicks the corner flag out of its, uh, of its position. Oof. Could, he could have got a bad injury with that. in from Zagreb. Oh, Longello just gets a little touch on it and it maybe puts off the player behind him, Admelo, who smashes the header in, but it just goes over the top. Didn't realise Leicester are out of the uh, Europa League. I'll just put some scores up along the bottom there. Crowell does well, skips by the player. Sonny Perkins is really deep, plays in Alessi inside the centre circle. Vlasic drops deep to collect the ball. Been really, honestly, I have been impressed with Vlasic so far. Switches play completely over to the right hand side. Ashby is taken out. Referee's given nothing. Zagreb are still on the attack. And Zagreb have still got the ball on the halfway line now on the edge of the centre circle, driving forward with the number eight. Going to play on the right hand side. He's going to shoot from distance, is he? Plays in the ball. He's through. Uh, he tries to... Oh, there's another chance for Zagreb. Good chances for Zagreb. That's two in the quick succession. Space of a minute. Oh my word, how many? Oh, my phone has just died, so I'm not going to be able to do the scores. 77 away fans travel to this game tonight. Yes, we do, Dalek, we do. I think anyone with digital radio and stuff like that can get anything now. Oi, Frankie boy, what's wrong with my commentary, mate? Eh? Hey. Longello does well. Collects the ball, driving forward. Gets by the third player. Tries to play Sonny Perkins. But he can't get a hold of the ball as I grab drive forward. So Greb's still got the ball.
who does well, collects the ball, we still got it down the right hand side. Good defending, but gives it away straight to the Zagreb player. They're on the edge of the box now. Uh, Mark Noble does well, but then they've kicked up the second ball. They're coming forward again. They're on the edge of the box. Shoots from distance. Ariola has to tip it over. Couple of really good chances in a row. It's a free kick now to Zagreb. Of course, our corner. Across the end. Yamalenko clears it, but it's straight to the box to them. <sighs> Fucking hell. Another chance for Zagreb. <sighs> 37 minutes in. Uh, Baptiste plays the ball over to Alessi. Finds Noble, who's dropped deep. Switches the play over to Ashby. Plays the ball forward. Sonny Perkins. He's going to keep it in, and he does. He skips by one player, keeps it in as well. Plays it back to Mark Noble. Longello. Drives inside, cuts inside, brings it back. Plays a nice ball through to Yamalenko. Does a cross in. Oh, nipped away from the Zagreb defender. Fornals. Mark Noble out wide to Ashby. Big cross in over the top. Oh, he hits the bar. It was one of those, like, crosses, stroke shots, a bit of a Masawaku, but on the right-hand side, and I think it tips... The bar and goes over. It was that. Oh, it doesn't hit the bar. It just goes just literally nips over the top. He did try one. Frank, we are getting a timer. We have worked it out. We've not had a chance to have a meeting about how we actually do it. DJ Russie B knows how to do it. I've physically seen it. It looks quality. We just haven't had a chance to do it yet. He's done it. But he hasn't showed us how to do it yet. There's no point in showing Stell. He'll never have a clue how to do it. Baptiste, Alessi. Langello goes long over the top. Yamalenko's made a good run. Zagreb's done well. They've got the ball now again. Is that out of focus? There you go. There you go. Go. Oh, well done. One back. Nice ball through to Yamalenko down the right hand side. He's cutting inside onto the edge of the box. Of course, he's going to put it onto the left foot. No, he doesn't. He puts it onto his right foot. He's still got it. Oh, Mark Noble's come back and won the ball. Cross it in. Oh, no, he's going to play four now. He's found a bit of space on the right hand side. He's still holding it. Still holding it. It's going to shoot with his left foot. Oh, it's cleared from the Zag Greb and it's gone out for a West Ham corner. Well done, West Ham. Well done, Pablo. Pablo! Go. 
Noble on the corner. Vasic on the keeper. Oh, what was that from Mark Noble? I think he's just mishit that ball completely. Ashby gets a hold of it. Loses it. Zagreb now on the ball, coming forward. Unless he's committed. But he's gone back to his position. Zagreb coming forward. They're on the left-hand side, driving down. But then Mark Noble does really well. Mark Noble does. He's found space as well. Really well played from Marky Boy. Alex Kroll chips the ball forward, finds Sonny Perkins, takes a heavy touch. Big clearance there from the Zagreb player. Vlasic dummies the, pat, the ball, finds uh, Alessi, who's got plenty of time. Plays the ball through to Vlasic, who finds Alex Kroll, who drops deep. He's coming over the halfway line. Alex Kroll still got the ball, looking for players to get themselves into some position. Langella's driving forward now. Down the left-hand side, holds it back, finds Kroll, who's heads up, plays in Baptiste, plays a short ball back to Alessi, who's just over the halfway line. Kroll again drops in to collect the ball. Kroll's going to play it into Pablo Fornals, who's dropped deep to find it. Noble's there to help him if he needs it, and he gets it. He's now out in the right-hand side in the halfway line. Plays in Ashby, who plays a nice ball through to Baptiste, who's driving forward, finds Alex Kroll just on the edge of the centre circle, switches play completely over to Langello on the left-hand side. Langello drives forward, skips by one player, loses it. Vlasic comes back, wins it, uses his strength, does really well, switches play. Oh, it just goes behind Ashby. If it had gone forward, we would have been on an advance there. Ashby, Fornals, Fornals turns, gets a hold of it, play it into, oh, tries to back flick, miss hits it, still gets a hold of it, plays the ball to Ashby on the right-hand side. Finds Fornals. There's plenty of men there. Fornals takes on. He gets thrown the player. The player's pulled him down, ref! It's a free kick right on the edge of the box. Right on the edge of the box. Good football there from Pablo Fornals. Really good. He got by the player. The player just brought him down. <laughs> He's giving a yellow card to the player as well. Ivan Ivanusevic, Ivan Ivan Usic, Ivan Usic, Ivan Usic, Ivan Usic gets a yellow card. Sorry, I just repeated that four times. Anyway, Noble Yamalenko. Now we're like what six yards out, six yards out from the byline, from the corner line, but we're over on the right hand side, just on the edge of the eighteen yard box. Yarmolenko steps over it. He looked like he's positioning himself for maybe a, a cheeky shot. Yarmolenko shoots. Keeper saves. I'd love Noble to score tonight. It'd be good for him, wouldn't it? From Butcher says we need King Arthur to score one of his crosses again. Absolutely. Daniela Shook, good to see you. Bring him on. Daniela. For now, I was like a determined Labrador. He is. There you go. There is half time. Now, listen, everyone, I do love you loads. I literally just walked in the door. I came straight on here for you guys. So I'm going to go away, get myself organized, and I'll come back for the second half. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please come back for the second half um back for the second half there you go i'll see you soon thank you for joining
And I'm back. There we go with a new angle as well. There you go. Hope you like that. Players are just coming out for the second half. Got myself. Ben Rama is on. So there we go. First substitution made from West Ham. Pablo Fornals has come off the field for Ben Rama. Now, I thought Ben Rama would have started the game anyway. We're talking a lot about the academy products that are on the bench. They were just focusing on Freddie Potts, of course, uh, Steve Potts' son on the long list of young footballers he's produced. I should bring you the latest lineup coming up on the screen. I think I might need to move, though. There you go. Benny's in the team. Oh, it's slightly off, isn't it? And we've kicked off for the second half. Let me just bring this over here and put that there and it gets me more in the screen. So I grab now on the attack. Offside for Zagreb. See what all the comments are saying. The time is uh 45 45. 45 Might even sign Stell for Dynamo Wolford in January. Need to contact his agent. I'm his agent, Frankie Boy. I am his agent. I apologise now for creating what I have created, this monster that is Stelios. Baptiste pings over to Ashby, he's driving down the right-hand side, driving forwards, shrugs off the Dynamo player, plays the ball over the top, tries to find Yamalenko, and the Dynamo players cut it out for a West Ham throw-in. No, 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 Joan, honestly, Frank... You need to come to me, mate, because I will give you the full inside knowledge on on our man Stelios. I'm his uh, I'm his agent. He's my worst client. It's diva. It's the biggest diva I've ever met in my life. I'm not the only one that would say that. Every single person that knows him would say that. It's not half time either, so I need to take that off. Ben Rama does well. Oh, plays a neat ball through to Longello. And the player does kick the ball out for a West. Is it a West Ham corner? He's gone down injured from Dynamo. Demi. The captain. Ben Rama does a few crossovers. Plays a neat ball through for Longello. Yeah, Demi gets the last touch in that. So I don't know if it goes out for a throw-in or a corner. It's a throw-in. Does anyone want to know what I'm drinking, right? I'll tell you what I'm drinking. It's very random because normally I drink coffee. I would have the odd tea. But I just really took a notion there for a hot chocolate. My wife has just found, not just found, I think it's existed for such a long time. But Malteser hot chocolate. It's quality. I'm not a huge hot chocolate fan. It's really nice though. Not with milk either. Because I just don't want it. I can't, I can't be too sweet. Longello. Ben Rama. Neat ball through to Perkins. Langello again. Skips by one player. They knock it out. It's West Ham throwing. I'd always go for a cappuccino. Cappuccino. That's my first choice every day of the week. Langello goes long. Finds Perkins to chest the ball. Ben Rama comes in, takes the ball. 
neat pass through to Noble, who looks like he was going to switch play, but does a back pass. Uh, Langello, it's cleared from the Dynamo player. Loads of play coming down the left-hand side. Mark Noble finds Alessi, skips by the one, doesn't pass the ball well to Kroll. The player dispossesses Kroll, plays a back heel, and Dinamo are on the attack. Longello does really well to track back and win the ball back again. Alessi comes back, plays the ball to Alex Kroll, finds Mark Noble on the halfway line to Benny, plays around Alex Kroll, keeps a hold of the ball, switches play over wide to the right. Ashby to Vlasic, back to Ashby, finds Baptiste, Noble on the halfway line. Choco milk. <laughs> Ashby tries to paint the ball, which goes out for a West Ham. Uh, throw in uh, other brands of hot chocolate are available. They are, but I, I, I've never really taken to it. And this, this I do like. Might sign Matt on a free instead of Stell, younger legs and all that. Absolutely, I agree with you. I'll give you a good deal for Matt. What about the lad from West Ham on official, Jakey Boy? Martin, I don't like coffee at all, but I do love a double chocolate mocha. I used to love a mocha. I used to absolutely love a mocha, but the older I've got, I've noticed that. Oh, fucking mic. That's my edit, sorry. Deserves me right for not talking about the bloody game. My link goes down. Ridiculous. Drives me insane when it happens. There's no need. Please be nice to us. West Ham uh, set piece anyway. Was it a corner? Oh, we're back in. Oh, you're joking me. Come on. Don't do this. Oh, goes out for a West Ham corner. Let me see if I can get a quicker and faster link. Oh, what have I done? Why did I get rid of that? Sorry, people, but my link is not working so well. It was doing well. But it's decided to stop working. Come on. Back in. Crawl out wide. Ashby. I'm now on the 51st and a quarter. Oh, Perkins has gone down. Vlasic has won the ball. Ah, uh, it's too easy. Is that Greb clear the ball? So I'm on 51.50, if anyone's wanting to know. How you doing, my man? Turf Moorhouse TV, good to see you. We'll be having you on on Saturday evening, I believe, isn't it? Um, oh, come on, Yarmily and Uh Good man, I like that, but not for Sunday. Not for Sunday, mate. Warm almond milk before bed would like would like chocolate, but damn the sugar. Pe loads of people I know are always drinking all these like almond milks and oat milks and stuff like that. I've never tried it. I wonder if I should. Is it healthier? I I, I don't want to sound really stupid here. Is it healthier? Langello clears the ball, does really well. Oh, and Sunday, cuz, cuz we are massive. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Oh, bless me. I think my kind of judgment on West Ham going forward is we've got opportunities going forward, but Sonny, I, I think it maybe shows us why a particular striker, I mean, we, we have to look at a particular striker, but I mean, I don't like slagging off West Ham players, but Yamalenko has done nothing. Oof, this link is so much further forward. Jumping over to you. Zagreba linking forward. Through in the box. Tries to shoot from distance. Keeps a hold of it. Shoots again. It's blocked. I'm now on 54-20. 54-20. Ball gets switched over to the right-hand side. Langella does well to clear it, but it does go out for a Zagreb corner. You girls are schooling on Sunday. <laughs> Honestly, I love the conversations here at the moment. You should sign uh, Sean Dice to under 20s manager when Billy goes down. Where's Dad tonight? Still finishing the paper round. Uh, oh, it's crossing. Goes to the back. Oh, he hits it on the volley, but it goes wide. Are you saying where's my dad? I, I, do you know, we've not actually, I've not spoke to him for a couple of hours, actually. So I don't know why he's never come around. I was at a meeting before I came here and I, I, I was planning on leaving. It was only five minutes away and I was planning on leaving at eight, uh, 7.40 so I could come back and do this watch the game but it ran on and it was still going on when I left and I had one last point I needed to make I had to make it and then I went and I got a lift there as well so I was like whacking the, the women beside me it's like we need to go like we need to go but she knew I wanted to get back for the football and the meeting was actually like a really important thing <laughs> Langella threw to Ben Rama plays a nice ball through to Perkins tries to skip by the player <coughs> he is dispossessed though I think I was trying to make the point earlier on that um Going forward, we do only have kind of one outlet, and that is we need a play. Kroll does, I think, really well there with that tackle, but he's called it back and given a foul against them. Um, we only have that kind of one sort of striker that we can only play that one sort of style with because we we, we had um, we had Hilaire, we had Chicharito, and it just didn't. Sorry, he got the ball, in my opinion. He did take the player as well, but he got the ball. So as much as Sonny Perkins looks good, Maybe the likes of Yarmolenko haven't helped him because he isn't really doing anything, is he? Yama. Father Snowman is saying lactose free milk semi skim, no sugar. There you go. Red Bull extra sugar cube. <laughs> I used to be addicted, Mikey. I used to have loads. I used to, honestly, I think at one point it was like three a day. I remember one time when older, I was getting my insides were palpitating. I was like, I need to stop drinking this stuff. I have the odd one every now and then. When I say odd, it's like one a month, maybe. If that, I haven't had one maybe for a couple of months. Anyway, Zagreber on the attack, moving forward. Still driving forward, unless he's going to step in. Shoots from distance. Good save from Ariola. Orsic was the shot. Clear from West Ham. Zagreb on the attack again. Cleared from... Baptiste for a Zagreb corner. Good save from uh, Ariola. Yeah, so that that's what's crazy about this. Um, by the time I actually say it live, I think you get it about thirty seconds. So if it didn't work like that, we would be in sync. If it went actually out live, cross in, Ariola kicks the ball away, punches the ball away from another corner. So yeah, if 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 you were to um if there was no delay in the YouTube StreamYard link, then we may be in sync. 
So if I was to put on YouTube now, I would hear what I said 30 seconds ago. Another whipped ball in, cleared from Ashby. Tries to, uh, goes out for a West Ham goal kick. You've gone ahead. Brent Butcher says Burnley play like a rugby league side. Almond croissants sound lovely, Martin. Just not creating enough moment. Can't find the final product. Uh, Langello plays in to Ben Rama, takes a touch, goes out for a West Ham throw in. Point in our direction, mate. That's it. Alessi, Baptiste, over to Ashby, he's over the halfway line. <coughs> Baptiste de Noble, Ben Rama. Through the middle to crawl. Noble. West Ham are committing the fullbacks really far forward. Baptiste out wide to Ashby. Baptiste. Noble through the middle. We're now deep in Zagreb's half. Yamalenko does a back heel. Noble's through. Outside of his boot to the far post, but no one's there. Vlasic keeps it in. Nice play there from uh, Yamalenko and Noble. A uh, nice ball there through to Alex Kroll, who's on the right hand side. Plays into Ashby, skips by one player. Nice cross. Oh, Yamalenko. And it finds to Vlasic. Skips by one player, brings it back to his left foot. Puts a cross in to Ben Rama. He doesn't get it. He does get it now, though. He's going to play into Longello, is he? He does. Longello on the ball. Skips by one player, crosses it in low. Ah, Zagreb. Joan, in the first half, I thought, yes. Oh, I thought he was actually looking quite good. Not so much in the second half yet, but it's early days. West Ham are committing bodies forward. So I get on the attack coming over the halfway line. So I grab just keeping hold of the ball. West Ham committing bodies forward, pressing really high. They've skipped by two of our players, though, still got a hold of the ball. Just taking their time. <clears throat> it's gone all the way back to the defender, who West Ham have pressed really heavily, put him under pressure, and he's just going for a big hit and hope. Well, the foul definitely on Crawl there. Unless he takes it short, quick, Noble, Longello down the left-hand side, driving forwards, cuts inside with his left foot, still got it, plays in a nice ball through to Ben Ram on the left-hand side, tries to cross it in low, and it goes out for a West Ham corner. Ben Ram takes it short, finds Mark Noble, plays in Ben Ram on the edge of the box, tries to shoot. He does shoot. I just, I bet Benny does that a lot. He does that a lot. I just think when those chances come, he does try to whip the ball in and, and, and aim on target, but there's just never enough power on it. Uh, Zagreb are about to make two substitutions. Kroll gives the ball away, but then wins it back, feeds the ball through to Vlasic inside the 18-yard box, brings it back to his left foot, shoots, takes a deflection and goes for a corner to West Ham. We're definitely pressing them a lot better now, though. I think Zagreb are going to make two substitutions here. 
Yeah, they are. I've just realised I've spelt Ben Rama wrong. How bad's that? Why did no one pick me up on that? Orsic is coming off the field. West Ham corner. Crosses it in onto the penalty spot. No one's there. Zagreb just clear it out for a throw in. Longello keeps it in though. Skips by the player, puts it onto his right foot, crosses it in over the top. Oh, just skips by West Ham's heads. Zagreb have now got the ball. Can't wait to see Augie back. You miss him. Steve is saying, think the youngsters are doing themselves no harm at all. I agree with you, mate. Vinny, that's good to hear. What was it you done, Vinny? Us, a tidy player, does not lose the ball. We are getting closer. Angelo does have a long future at West Ham. He is good. Been impressed with the back four. I'm not going to lie to you. I really have. I'm not going to lie to you. I've not might be massively impressed with Crow, but benefit the doubt. Ball finds its way through to Baptiste. Plays the ball through to Alex Crow. Skips by one player. Still got a hold of it. Calling someone in to try and bring him forwards. Plays it out to Ashby. Nart Noble drops deep. Switches play completely. Finds Alessi in the centre circle. Brings the ball down with his left foot. It's driving forwards. Plays into Ben Rama down the left-hand side. Langello's down there supporting him. Plays it inside to Langello. Plays it too heavy. Too heavy pass from Benny. <coughs> Throw into West Ham. Mikey, what's the score over in uh, what's the score over in the Genk game? So Greb now down the attack down the left hand side. They've skipped by one player. He's down there. He's coming into the box. Puts onto his right foot. Switches it over to his left foot. Still got it. Ashby does well. Clears it out for a Zagreb throw in. Be back in a second. Noble. Ben Rama. Alessi. Genk is still getting beat by Vienna, 1-0. <coughs> Big ball forward from Alex Kroll. Martin Noble. Ben Rama. Looking for a bit of space to open up. He's still got it. 
step over, keeps a hold of it, puts it onto his right foot, plays a neat ball to the edge of the box. Alex Carl tries to chip it forward, but no one's there. Unlucky. Keeper throws the ball out to the left back for Zagreb. <coughs> Plays a nice one too. Well done to Vlasic, who's dropped deep to click the ball. Alessi finds Ben Rama down the left-hand side. Cuts in on the right. Plays the ball through to Alex Kroll. Oh, tries a neat pass through, but it's dispossessed from the Zagreb team. So Greb driving forward. Should have done better with that pass. So Greb still got the ball. They're just taking their time. Slow build up play. Plays the ball forward. Langello comes in, does really well. Sonny Perkins wins it. Mark Noble gets it. He's dispossessed. So I grab have got it. They're just kind of static on the ball, struggling to get the ball forward. Langello's on top of him. They kick it out, and it's a West Ham throw in. Mark Noble goes early. It's another substitution from them. Let me go into the chat, see what I'm saying. <sighs> Genko pushing harder now. Uh, While well, Zagreb are making a sub. Youngster doing great, considering a step up from the 23 to European football. Anton, you had a curry again. <laughs> Quick, everyone, type goal. No, don't. Oh, my God. Goal, 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 goal. <laughs> you dicks. Frank Butcher said, crawl. Make it believable, mate. If you're going to try and convince me it's a goal, yeah, do make it believable. Antonio from the car park. Longello, or Longello, however you want to say it. Mark Noble in the centre circle. Plays in Baptiste, who's driving forward. Ben Rama. Chips the ball forwards. Unlucky. But Sonny Perkins on the edge of the box. Brings Alex Kroll. That's, that's not good from Alex Kroll. Tries to win the ball back, but he loses possession. Attack now from Zagreb. Well, done. well one back there for Mark Noble. Vlasic plays in Sonny Perkins. Vlasic has made the run. Sonny Perkins is out on the right-hand side. Plays the ball through to Mark Noble. Ashby's made the run. Played a nice ball through to Perkins. It's cleared, but it hits off of Ashby. It goes out for a Zagreb throw in. Harley, the salami. Haven't seen had the chance to see the game working late. Any any promising debuts? In my opinion, I think Longello, absolutely. Ashby, yes. Alessi, very good. Baptiste, done well. Uh, Perkins started off quite well. Has been kind of, unfortunately, played out of the game. That's just down to the fact of his position. Uh, you know, he's, he's kind of up there on his own and, and Yarmolenko's not really done much to help him. Um, so that's been a bit of a shame. We've made some one substitution for else came off for Ben Ram at half time. Benny's been trying a few things, but nothing's really kind of getting over the line. But I would honestly say the back four have done well. I'm really impressed with them. 
They are working hard, mate, yep. So I grab on the attack on the left hand side. That's cold, comes back, does well. Uses his strength to win the ball. I'm surprised it wasn't a foul, but it wasn't. Langello now on the attack down the left hand side. Gives the ball away. Ben Rama wins it back. Puts it onto his right foot. He's going to play it. Play it. Play it. What are you shooting for? There was like two or three men wide on the right hand side, and Benny just went for glory from 30 yards out with about a million players in front of him. Just switched the play. Good header from Alessi. Tries to go over the top. Tries to find Yarmolenko. Benny skips by the player. He's brought down. Referee does not give a foul against him. The guys just said a bit of stat there. Dinamo Zagreb are looking for the first ever win in England. What? Game's kind of dying a bit of a death just now. Lasic did make a great one there. We didn't pass it again. And they says need to make a change now. We run out of time. Your money really needs to come on. Oh, right, he's just strolling around. <laughs> Who have we got on the bench? Well, our bench is as follows. Um, two goalkeepers, Randolph and David Martin. Uh, Sufal, Masuaku, Diop, Forsen, Swire, Potts, Lanzini and Minrama. Three young youth players on the bench as well. What? Commentators are talking some nonsense. Baptiste. Noble. Alessi. Out wide to the left to Yarlenko. A few step overs, puts it onto his left foot again, chips the ball over the top, tries to find Alex Crawl. Key comes out to collect. Oh, I'm sorry, don't want to sound tired, but it's not exciting. I'm not excited anymore. Um, Where does Potts play? He can play in defence and midfield, mate. Predominantly known as midfielder. Ah, oh, Zagreb. Ah, oh, cleared from West Ham. From Langello. Zagreb on the attack. They're getting out. They've got a lot of possession here now. They're on the attack down the right hand side. Takes a deflection. Ah, oh, the link. Don't be doing that. I 
I've got another link, but uh, that was the, the furthest one ahead. And we're back. I think Zach Greb are going to make another substitution. It looks like it's going to be a defender, so it looks like they're going to want to shut up shop, which might invite West Ham on a bit more. Unless he comes across. Good clearance. Finds Jarmalenko, who is fouled, and it's a West Ham free kick just on the halfway line. I really need to stop yawning, apologies. Once you start, you can't stop. Subs needed for Moisey, absolutely. Why don't we bring the subs on, Joan? Uh, the players are starting to look a bit tired now, so I can see why we should bring players on. Agreed, Joan, better now than never. Andy, can't understand not making any subs. So for straight in to watch. Come on, Moisey. Thinks we need a sub, Anthony. Seems tired. He's available on the bench. Lanzini for crawl. Worked hard all night, though. Still is on the bench. Forget it. Leave Anton. <laughs> Hold on a minute. If you want to know who I'm talking to, I'm talking to my mum, so you can all say hi to my mum. <laughs> there you go. There's a grab on the attack. <laughs> hi, mum. Hi, Joan. Chris Biggs. Hello. <laughs> Gotta do some stuff to cheer you up and keep you awake in it. Question Do we need to buy a centre back? These two are very good. I do think they are very good. However, I do think Moyes will go into the market and bring someone in. That's my opinion, but you can ask everyone else in the chat. Is that good one? The attack down the right hand side. It's like nine minutes to go. You would have think that uh, we'd have made a sub by now. So I was just playing the ball along the back line and. We're not even really pressing anymore. That's all they were doing. They were just playing the ball. They were waiting on us on the attack. Well, one from Ashby. Alex Crawl. So we have bloody throw in. Freddie Potts is coming on. Six years old, Freddie Potts signed his first professional contract with the club in June 2021. He was barking, born and raised. Um, he was a prospect, only needed one year in his initial scholarship deal to convince his coaches to commit his long-term future to the club until 2024. Um, during the 2021 campaign, his first year scholar featured on 21 occasions for Kevin Keane's under-18s team, for later also becoming a regular in Halajic's under-23s. Of course, he's the son of two-time Hammer of the Year and current under-23 coach Steve Potts. The brother to former Hammer and current Luton Town left-back Dan Freddie made seven consecutive under-23 starts from early March 21. Um scoring his first Premier League two goal against Leicester. And now the next player coming on is another player that really, really, really excites me. I think he's a quality player and I'm excited to see. And it's Forson who's coming on the park as well. Um, 
Keenan Forson, what a great young little player, tenacious, energetic midfield player. Um, he joined West Ham at the age of 14 following a successful trial. Began a scholarship at the Academy of Football in the summer of 2018, having broken into West Ham United's under-18 squad the previous season. Keenan Forson is a baller, in my opinion, so I'm intrigued to see who these substitutes are and who they will be for. Two coming on. Yes, Richard Stevens. He is the son of two time hammer Steve Potts. Who's coming off for these two young lads then? They're probably going to get what? 84th minute, depends if the ball or stops. The play stops soon. Get maybe six or seven minutes on the field. Crawl finds Noble. <laughs> Benny, Noble. Noble, Longello plays a 1-2 with Noble. Noble's tripped over, and it's a free kick in a about 25 yards out. Benny's desperate to get on top of that. Longello is just probing away at their defence. He is causing them concerns. I've been really impressed with him. Who is going to come off for these two lads? They're not making the subs yet. Bernard's over the ball. He's going to shoot. Shoots from distance. Keeper collects it easily. Oh, come on. Get the two lads on. Desperate to see the two young lads. Come on. I'm lucky. Baptiste wins the header. They're coming into the 86th minute. Sonny Perkins wins the ball. Oh, come on, ref. He blows the foul. Gets, wins a free kick. Player just goes through Sonny Perkins. So we're probably going to see the substitutions now. Yarmolenko is coming off. Freddie Potts. And uh, Sonny Perkins comes off the field and Forson comes on. Forson's been playing as a centre forward. What has been happening in the other 23s? Did he say Force has been playing as a centre forward? Yeah, he has. Ridiculous. What's going on? He was unbelievable as a midfielder. Langello tries to skip by the player. He does really well. Loses it, unfortunately. Forsen's dropped so deep to collect the ball. Noble finds Crawl on the left-hand side. Plays in Langello. No, that's too much for Noble. Noble tracks down the player, though. Takes the deflection off him, goes out for a Zagreb throw-in. Zagreb are going to do everything in their power now to slow this game down and try their best to see out this victory if they can. Unless he wins the ball. Oh, he's fouled Longello. Yeah. 
Ben Rama pings the ball in over the top, taking a weird deflection to the back post, goes out for a West Ham corner. In the 89th minute, West Ham get a corner. Come on, West Ham. Get the lads forward. Oh. Hey, my phone in. I didn't mean to. Oops. 89th minute, West Ham corner. Corner in. Doesn't be the first man. It's ridiculous. It really frustrates the living delights out of me. Mongello shoots from distance. Takes a deflection. He didn't. Goes out for another corner. Benny now goes over for the corner. Go on, Benny. Three minutes at a time as well. Oh, it's awful, Benny. Doesn't even beat the first man. It's not even goes over waist height. Takes the throw in though. Langello crosses it. What a great ball from Langello. Back post. Vlasic has got it. Ball in again. Oh, Messi! Oh, he chests it down and it's just too heavy. The keeper collects it. That would have been a great opportunity for him. Oh, he just saw it a bit late. Actually hit off his shoulder. Oh. Oh. Come lucky, son. So I are just playing the ball through the back, happy to wind the clock down as much as they can. <sighs> minute, minute and a half to go. Big ball forward from Ariola. Lessing Lees gets through, tries to go in against the keeper, overstretches, keeper goes down, he's injured. I 
There you go. There's full time. Oh, Zagreb win the game 1 now. I mean, is there really anything else? I, I, I mean, fair play. Listen, at the end of the day, we've changed things up. And for me, there's so many positives to take from tonight 100%. The, the positives for me are that we've put out four to five youth players that have stepped up to the plate. And, 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 and do you know what? They've done themselves proud tonight. 100% done themselves proud tonight. I don't know if you agree with me, but I couldn't think of uh, any of the young players that didn't put in a good performance, and that is good for West Ham. That is exactly what we're going to need moving forward um, as players performing at the highest level um, from our youth academy. We've got, what, six was it six youth players made their um, debut tonight, uh, and, and, and it was absolutely good for them. And that's, that's, that's what I'm going to take from tonight. Hundred percent, um, the young, the young players. That's that's the key. That's the key for me. So we are going to go live literally in about a minute. Um, just let me put this up here for you. Um, they're just interviewing Carlton Cole. And I'm just listening to what he's saying, and they're saying at the end of the day, when you've been playing six to seven youth academy players who are getting a run out in the team in the Europa League because West Ham have performed and got the deal done is a very, very, very positive thing moving forward for West Ham. Most teams would have done the same, but it's absolutely top-notch from those lads. I'm really proud of West Ham tonight because I'm proud of the academy. I'm proud of what we're achieving. Um, yes, Moyes would have wanted to win. I don't doubt that for a second, but I think he's proud, and, and I'm, I'm a proud West Ham fan watching these young lads perform tonight 100 million percent definitely um let me just let me just get you this here longello they're just showing longello running over to the crowd talking to his family um it's phenomenal stuff to see it really is where's where's this gone i can't find you if i'm still on stream yard where are you there you are you're not there no you're not there you're not there I'm trying to find you. There you are there. There you are there. There you are there. Right, I'm going to put the link in. So do me a favor. The link is there now. Go and jump across there and join us for the show. I'm literally going to click live in a second. Freddy Potts has gone over to his brothers as well. Things you love to see. Making the first team debut for the club. Things you absolutely love to see. Right. I've put the link in the chat. So go across and uh, hit us up. And we'll see you on the other side in about a minute. There is the link there. Go and click it and we'll talk through the game as well. Okay. See you on the other side.